Hey babes, it's Lala Kent. Welcome back to the bonus episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Jessica. Hello. Easton. Oh, hey. Guys, what's what? the theme? What's the theme the for today? The theme for today's episode is um, your most memorable spring break moment. Spring break, tits oh, out. Oh, everybody loves a good pair of tits. Tits out for spring break. Have you ever shown your tits for spring break? Um, my best friend and I, in the spring break, I'm going to tell you guys about, we ha- were dared to stand on the balcony and flash our tits, but it wasn't, like, to anyone. It was just, like, to the ocean. Oh, well, that's lame. lame. I know. But there were people down on the beach. Oh, I thought it was yeah. just, like, no <laughs> no beach, just the sea. Yeah. No, so we did that. You were hoping there was, like, a fisherman out there or something. Yeah, no, but there was, like, people on the beach, and a couple of people were looking up, and we're like, yeah! So it was, like, Where were you? We were in... <laughs> Myrtle motherfucking beach, baby. Is Myrtle Beach where they golf? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of golf. There's a lot. White sand beaches? Uh, Yes. I do like the southern east coast beaches. I will tell you that. They're my favorite. Destin, Seaside, I love those beaches the best. White sand, blue water. Yeah. Yeah. But when you grew up on the east coast, usually your spring break with friends, because it was very lax, you could use fake IDs and stuff, Mm. was South Carolina not really Florida, more South Carolina, North Carolina. Oh, understood. Yeah, because you could like, I mean, I think my fake ID said 5'8". Like, I'm not <laughs> kidding. I'm not kidding. Girl. <laughs> yeah, you you definitely could get away with a lot of shit. 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> How tall are no, you? 5'2"? No, I'm 5, you guys. It said 5'eight. And my, my friend's Maybe fake ID was a thought... different race. They don't give it. They did not give a fuck. Let me Are you put it this joking way. Me? No, I'm not kidding. I guarantee wow. people when they were checking your ID thought that the eight was just a zero. Maybe or they just nah, were like, it's there's no break. way. There's no way. I have an eight on my ID and it's clearly an eight. You got it's lucky. Clearly an eight. Yeah. Um, you know what though? What? The amount of stories that I came up with for my fake ID. There was one bar that I went into, and I had this, let's see, well, I was underage, so I had to have been, like, 19 or 20, and it said I was 32 on my ID, Okay, (laughs) and I'm 33 right now, and I still don't look a day over 21. (laughs) So true. So fucking true. So, (laughs) what I would do, (laughs) I have this, like, line on my stomach, so I was showing everyone my C-section scar. (laughs) And they were like, wow. And I was like, yeah, I got two kiddos at home. Two <laughs> kiddos. Like, just trying. She plays I a part. saw them, like, I saw them eyeing me. Like, there's no way. And there weren't very many people in there. Yeah. And then there was another time that I went to this club. Yeah. And I gave my ID. And the guy was, like, really double taken. Yeah. He goes, you don't look like this photo. And I said, for the amount of money that I paid on this face, I better not look like that photo. That's so smart. And he just, like, handed it back awkwardly <laughs> and, like, let me go inside. Because, like, what do you say to that? Right. Well, yeah, you're now like, oh, fuck. Would they not Brought use to ask you questions? They would say me because I our fake IDs would always be someone else. It wasn't an actual fake because they would scan them, right? So it had to be a real ID. No, it was a real ID. So they would go. Like, you would get them from, like, a friend. that right. They were like, it's about to expire, but you can have it. And when I was coming up, though, you could get them made that you No, you that can scanned. get them made. But my point is, instead of saying, what's your birthday, they would say things like, what's your sign? They would try and catch you off guard. So you had to know everything. Like, if my birthday on my fake ID said August, I'd have to know that was Leo or some shit. I was a Libra. You were? Certainly was. Wow. October birthday. Do you have your most uh, memorable spring break story? Because we're dying to hear. Do you have yours, Easton? <sighs> Me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. We it's went. Great, but. We, really? Yeah. We spent most of our spring breaks like in St. George yeah, or like whatever. With family. With family. Yeah. yeah. So you never did, like, the crazy spring break, like, with friends? That's the only one no, that I have No, I didn't that drink I in high about. school. Okay. No, but my, even after. My, mine is after. Mine's, mine's in Mine's after, too. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> mine was in college, but technically I wasn't in college, but everyone else was in college. <laughs> Perfect. Everyone else was spending money, and now I make more money than <laughs> Hey! Hey! It all worked out. Yay. The universe. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm sure their parents are a little bit more proud of them than <laughs> mine are of me, but it's fine. Um... So, me and my two friends, okay. they were sisters, super hot sisters. Mm-hmm. Boobs Decide. like this on what? both of them. Yeah. Well, Giant Chandler, nat- yeah. Chandler had massive natural mm-hmm. boobs. Massive. I liked when she'd come over. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Yeah, <laughs> she did. She was definitely, they both slapped pretty hard. Um, I took them to my parents' condo in St. George. And St. George is only two hours outside of Vegas. So we were going to spend the weekend there. And we had this bright idea. Like, we're two hours away from Vegas. Why don't we just head to Vegas? Mm-hmm. And we'll, like, deal with getting a room when we get there because who else is going to have the idea to go to Vegas for spring break? Like, nobody. Of course. Not Vegas. Yo. Who would think? (laughs) We roll into Vegas. You cannot get a hotel room anywhere, obviously. Booked to the brim. I mean, I couldn't even stay at, like, one of those, like, golden nugget places (laughs) off the strip, right? No. So we find this uh, group of our friends, these dudes, who are very chaotic. Very chaotic. Okay, like the epitome of like, oh, chaotic white drunk boys. Sure. Okay, you guys know the type. Yeah. And they told us that we could stay with them and they were staying at Hooters. Hooters, okay. What kind of guys? Wow. Yeah. And (laughs) it got so chaotic, you guys, (laughs) that like one of them, he was very small and they called him Teabag. That was his nickname. Would he teabag his balls into people's mouths? His well, there were two Tysons in the group. Okay, so they nicknamed him. He was the smaller one, so he got nicknamed Teabag, but he wouldn't teabag anybody ever. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, good to know. But he was like on fire. I don't know what was happening, and like in the next room, this guy was like swinging his dick outside the bars. And oh, like helicoptering. <laughs> Oh, I love a good helicopter. Outside of the bars, it was it just like got a little kind of weird. Yeah, and we were it. all very very drunk, and. For me, it was like time to go to bed. Sure. Okay, time to go to bed. We drove here at night. We drove here at night thinking we could just get a room and have a fun night in Vegas, go out to a nightclub. But it took us like most of the time figuring out how we, where we were going to stay. And we just happened to come, come across these guys who we knew mm-hmm. that would let us stay with them. So by the time we like got there and got situated, there wasn't a lot of energy to be had. Right. Right. It was like, (laughs) let's just go to the casino. And then like, literally that night we were so drunk, you guys. We were so over it that me and Taylor, (laughs) me and Taylor, we were like, let's just drive back. We're fine. Let's just drive back. And my friend Chan, who has big boobs, was like, we're not driving back. We're wasted. (laughs) Good We're wasted. (laughs) I was like, you're right. We're definitely wasted. And so teabag comes plowing through the fucking room, right? And I've showered, I've bathed, I'm feeling yummy, drunk as fuck. And we're like three of us in this tiny little bed. Teabag busts in and he's like, I'm about to break this glass bottle over your fucking head. Everyone come help find Timmons with me. No! (laughs) Wild. Okay, and he's holding the glass bottle above our heads. And we're like, okay, he could be drunk, but he could have also smoked something like crack. It sounds like crack. And definitely killed us. Crack (laughs) is a hell of a drug. So we all get up and we go downstairs and the elevator opens. And this isn't like a crazy, crazy story, right? You guys, there's just a lot of weird things, almost like the hangover, (laughs) right? And then you only realize that the crazy things that happened were like in the photos that they don't remember. That's how I imagine this Vegas trip was. Okay. But I just remember the elevator doors opening and the security guy, everyone walking off and then stopping me. And Teabag being like, what the fuck? Why aren't you letting her come into the casino? And he's like, first of all, you're wasted. Back the fuck out of my face. And he was a big guy. And Teabag is small, but he was maybe on crack. So (laughs) who knows? And he's like, why can't she come out of the fucking elevator? And the guy goes, well, first of all, she has no shoes on. She can't (laughs) Oh, you forgot them. I forgot my shoes. And I was in my pajamas. He goes, second of all, she's, she's nowhere near over the age of 12. Like, she cannot be in the casino. It's three in the fucking morning. How old were you again? Probably 20. Like, just shy of... I wasn't 12. (laughs) And I'm, like, standing there in my pajamas. No shoes. With no shoes. And he wouldn't let me off. I had to literally wait by the elevator. Because I didn't have a key to get back up. So you... No, they left you? They left me. Of course they left me. You just stood there. I just stood there. They they, had a mission. While they went to find Timmons. Do you ever think back on these things? Do you think you have videos from this trip? No. Maybe in an old phone. And I'm pretty sure it would be like the hangover. Going I was going to be say, like, what actually happened? And we like have tigers and right. we're with Mike Tyson and shit, <laughs> you know? And teabag. Do you and ever teabag. think back at things you did? Maybe you didn't, but things you did when you were younger and you're like, thank God I'm still alive. Uh, most of them have to do with me being uh, 
junior high where yeah. my friend's mom would let us drive her Land Rover to the seventh <laughs> grade. Yeah, those things, Wait, I wonder how I'm what? alive. <laughs> yeah. No license? And she hasn't no, got no license. Jessica. Me. They were what? Like 12, 13. Lala. 13, seventh dry- grade. And then we'd stop at Starbucks first. What? That was a little mocha latte. I'm shocked. And this then park where the t shirts oh, And if they weren't in the Range Rover, they were just in the golf cart flying illegally down roads. It was a. It was not a Range Rover. It was a Land Cruiser. <laughs> Land Cruiser, sorry. But if they weren't in that, we tried to take the, the Escalade. Cart. I'm but no. shocked. But what the you... dad hid the keys. <laughs> <laughs> what if you had gotten pulled over? We'd be fucked. Our parents would be even more fucked. That's more shocking to me than anything I've ever heard. You know, it's just, you said the Vegas trip, and I just remember feeling very stupid that the guy was outing me for looking 12, where, yeah. and I thought that I was a sexy bitch. And, and then the helicopter it. dick and Tyson <laughs> or teabag over our heads being like, I'm going to break a fucking bottle over your heads. And we're like, ah! <laughs> we got to get out of here. It turned very chaotic. We only went to help him look for his friends because we were legitimately worried for our lives. At least it was memorable. And I wonder how Teabag's doing now. Who knows? <laughs> Just divvying and teabags out. Teabagging one by around. One. I hope no one can locate him. Oh. Or anyone else I'm talking about <laughs> on the podcast. I had a great time with you guys in high school and out of high school. You guys served me with terrific memories. We hope you're doing well, Teabag, and that you still don't carry around that nickname. You know what? I may have been in high school, actually. Really? Wouldn't surprise me. Because I don't think I hung out with these kids outside of high school. 20 I think I was probably in high school. Like 18, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Um, what about your guys' memorable moments? Mine's I don't know how memorable mine is. Sorry that I oh, took 12 minutes. Then of I your want time. you to go last because it'll be a, okay. it'll no, be no, a better No, no, no. You got to go last. Yeah. If it's anything like cum goggles, <laughs> you're staying you're, last. Yes. It's Easton, a little. you go first. You were a part of it. Oh. Re- so, me and four buddies go to St. George, and because we're in high school- Oh, this was fucking wild. We're not of age okay. to, like, rent a place. So, my mom-in-law come down with me and my friends to St. George and just have, like, a little vacation for them while we do our own thing. Mm-hmm. Well, there's nothing that I hide. So, I was just hanging out, doing all of that. Well, one of my buddies, Mormon, he was the only one who had fucking rules. Mm-hmm. His mom was like- He needs to be home at 10. He needs this. He needs that. Well, we go out one night. We're in high school. We go to a college party at Dixie State, St. George, Utah. Uh And there's this girl that's just hitting on my buddy. We're all just The one who has to be home by 10? One who has to be home by 10. So I'm just smoking along with Sean and my other buddy, Taylor. He gets fucked up, Mike. (laughs) Not last name, but he gets fucked up. Mm -hmm. the girl comes out of her like dorm room and just goes, you need to come take care of your fucking friend. So we get up and walk in and like in a dorm room, know how they have like a big desk, like in the window. Yeah. He is just on top of it like this, just throwing. (gasps) No. And it is everywhere. It is leaking off the table. And the thing is, it's like, we're looked at as the guys who brought this guy. Right. Mm. So now we're just like, let's just get him out of here. Well, he he's not small. He's a bulky he's kid. He's big. He's, he's a big, big boy. Big boy. And, and he's think hammered. He could you can't pull his alcohol yeah. a little better. Well, it he probably could not. smelled so bad. <laughs> it no! everything was rough. So we have to get him home. Obviously, we have to tell Lauren and Lisa, like, yo, he's fucked up. Yeah. And so we're like putting him on his side. It was to the point where we were like, do we take him? Like, t- yeah. And well, Ethan was like, he, uh, Mike's really drunk. So we go in there and he's like laying like this. <gasps> and like, how old was he? High school. He was probably 16 and so we illegal. Were 17. Oh, very illegal. My mom was really furious because like. Oh, yeah. Well, like the only kid who has fucking instructions. Like yeah. this kid came with a manual. We should have never allowed him to come. No, we that's should have come with the kids. And it can't be too strict because that's why he got so drunk. Yeah, and but- it's every other kid who. Go out till all hours of the night. We were just chilling, smoking, yeah. and minding our business, and then him. Yeah, but, that's but can like I tell you? That's the most memorable. If that was wild, and that was a memorable one. <laughs> oh, I mean, walking him to the car, like you just said, there were well, so he many ruined things. ruined the whole night. Oh, he See, stumbled sad. into the bush, slammed into like. He could have gotten everything. really hurt. Thank God he oh, had you yeah. guys. But also, like, if I'm taking my kids or whoever to like 
a spring break event and someone's mom is like, here's their, the rules that you have to abide by. I'm going to say, then you got to come or like your kids can't come. Because right. I'm not about that life. And I'm going to automatically assume, I'm telling you, if the kids got rules, they're going to be the craziest one. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, I know how my kid acts. I'm going to know Summer Moon and Hartford and all the kids. Your, your kid's the rogue kid. Yeah. And I'm yeah. not, and you're not paying me to do this. No. Right. I yeah. know that sounds rude. It's like Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> like a lot of pressure. What's his name in The Hangover? That's Zach. who he was. He was a... Uh, I can't remember his name in it, but that's... Carl? Who- no. The baby was Carl. Yeah, the baby is Carl. <laughs> but that's who Mike was. He was fucking Zach on The Hangover. He Michael. came with instructions. Michael, Michael. But that was the only memorable one. Wow. I'm a very chill guy, and it's always somebody else fucking up. Yeah, that's very true. When it comes to travel, we all have that happy place we're always daydreaming about. Whether it's a snow-capped mountain white sand beaches, or even a hometown visit. We all have that happy place. I know for myself, Easton, my mom, and I think Jessica too, that place just became Hawaii. We had such an amazing time there last fall that I think it's going to become a yearly trip. The beautiful beaches, the amazing food, and the fact that we completely chill. I'm not sure it gets any better than that. Whatever your happy place is, Priceline wants to get you there for a happy price. So you never have to miss a trip. So we rented our car in Hawaii through Priceline, and if I told you how much money we saved, you would not believe me. And did you know that when you bundle and save with Priceline, you can save up to $625 when you book your flights and hotels together. Just use Priceline and simply book your entire trip in one place. They truly have deals you can't find anywhere else. So download the Priceline app today to save up to 60% off select hotels and go to your happy price with Priceline. Can I just tell you that Etsy gift mode has changed my entire life? There's no more panicking or completely stressing out when I have to find the perfect gift for someone because I'll be honest, I am the worst gift giver ever. And it's been an amazing thing when it comes to Ocean and her birthday because when someone asks me, what can I get Ocean? I can point them to gift mode on Etsy. With gift mode on Etsy, it's so easy to find gifts made by independent sellers for all of the people in your life like the dog lover, the concert goer, the fashionista, the reality TV fan, or in Ocean's case, the creative kid. There is literally something for everyone on Etsy. Like I said, Ocean's birthday is just days away and I have found her so many cute things on Etsy. I got her the cutest personalized book specifically for her third birthday and I found this really cool personalized LED neon sign for her new big girl bedroom. And of course, I loaded up on hair accessories and jewelry A gifting moment is always around the corner. But whether it's a birthday, an anniversary, a holiday, or even just a day to say thank you, Gift Mode on Etsy has you covered. Need to find the perfect gift? Don't panic. Try Gift Mode on Etsy now. What do you got for us? Oh my God. No, I can't believe I'm telling this story. I'm going to start off by saying this. I'm just going to admit it. I will never slut shame anyone. But the way I speak on this podcast, I would feel most comfortable saying this out loud. My body count is not high. I've slept with not a lot of people, which again, if you have, that's amazing. My body count is yeah, not like, high. Yeah, like, like how, many how many people, people you've slept, slept with? with. Like what's your the body count? The way I speak, you would think I've slept with hundreds. I've slept with a little over two hand two hands of people, right? Okay, that's all I'll say. yeah, you're so it's not chilling. crazy. So now Child I feel comfortable telling sandbox. this story. <laughs> oh yeah. god, this one so. over here. You probably <laughs> slept with the guys a lot of times. Like no one. Well, I was stands. always in long relationships, so like I'd be with someone. I've only had like. Two one night stands. Okay. So, and this is one of them. <laughs> oh my God. On spring no. break. I cannot, and this is a real story, you guys. This is 100% real. Only a couple friends know it. Shout out, Angela, Audrey. Okay. So, now you can go tell everyone. <laughs> We're on spring break. This is college uh, in uh, like uh, sophomore year of college in Nashville. Okay. So, a lot of people will go to like Myrtle Beach or places that are close like that that are easy breezy. I was 20. So I could not drink yet. So I had to use a fake like we talked about. So I'm, um, we're there. I'm single. We are in the condo. There's a group of us and we're partying with these guys. And there's this one guy who's so hot to me at the time. To me. <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he, he's hot. And I'm like, this guy's so hot. It's spring break. I want to let loose and be safe, but let loose. And um, I noticed he had a little limp, Right. But, like, very slight, and I didn't think anything of it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm 
<laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you. Was he sitting down? No, no, no. He would like walk and he'd have like a slight limp, but I'm like, oh, whatever. Like maybe, one leg was bigger than the other. Maybe one leg is like shorter than the other or something, but he's so hot and like I'm drunk and this is fun. I like how inclusive you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm talking to him. We're hitting it off. He's like funny. Like we're just hitting it off. And I was like, you know, it's spring break. I'm going to let the limp go. <laughs> I'm going to let the limp go. I've got condoms. Like I might hook up with this guy. Another thing, thank God. I don't have an STD because sometimes, like, I would never hook up, do a one night stand again, also because I'm engaged. But anyway, <laughs> um, so we're hitting it off, we're drinking, and he's like, I'm like, I'm gonna sleep with this guy tonight. It's spring break. So we, he goes, Do you wanna go back to my condo, which was like the condo over? And I was like, Yes, absolutely. And we go over again, we're walking there. I'm drunk, right? He's limping over. But I'm noticing. Okay, the limp's a little stronger, maybe. <laughs> then, but he's, he's got some. It's not even like a limp. It's like a. Dr- it's like it seems a dragging of one leg. I was like, maybe he hurt his knee or something. Oh my god! So we get in the condo and we're like drinking, and he's fun, and we start to hook up. <laughs> you guys. Did you get a look at the leg? He takes off one of his legs. <laughs> <laughs> He took off a leg. Ew, he did it. <laughs> if I could do that, I would do some freaky shit with the leg, though, too. Like, no, I'd slap I'm her done. ass with it. He you like, know? He's like, I'm about to do something wild. And I was he's like, oh, he warned you. He warned you. <laughs> I was like, he's about to get freaky. Like, he got real freaky. Took off a leg. Took off a leg. <laughs> and I did not know because he had his jeans on and we're hooking up. And he was like doing things to me. And I was like, oh, he's so hot. And he goes, I'm about to get real freaky. And I was like, great. Did he put and a he, nub in you? He undoes his pants and takes off his leg. How takes, far up? How far up? The thigh, the it knee? Was, he had no knee. So he had like a thigh. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, he had a, and I didn't know. And I was, let me tell you, when I say I was taken aback. Well, when yeah, I tell you I shocking. was shook, yeah. I went. When I tell you I gasped, I'm I'm so uncomfortable thinking back to the moment because I was like, okay, here's what did, I was like. He did hot. did the dick hang lower than the thigh? <laughs> <laughs> did it? No. Okay. It wasn't small, but I go. So did you the, have to get on top? Did you have sex? No. He yes, we had sex because okay. I go. Well, I, I can't say no now, or I'm. You're a horrible person. I'm a bad person. You would have the worst karma ever. I I thought so many things going through my mind. Number one, I wish he told me this was coming (laughs) because Mm. I'm shocked. I'm going to tell you, he probably has, and then it puts it to an end. So now he... Yeah. He's just asking I think forgiveness. He, yeah. No, he's the type where he's like, I'm going to get them to the point where if they, they do leave, yeah. they're going to be like, my karma will be bad. A hundred percent. know. Number mm-hmm. two, I was just like this anyway. So um, I was like, oh my God, I had no idea. Uh, Question. He, yeah. How many positions can a one-legged man when put When I in? tell you I've never been in more positions in my life. No, he, he knows what he's doing. He knows exactly. Let he me tell you something. He was fantastic. He was great, but... The entire time I kept like glancing, which like I love it. If you can work it with one leg only, amazing. Like who's that guy that ended up murdering his girlfriend? OJ? No, he had like, he didn't have legs Uh, and he was a very fast runner. The Brazilian track guy. Oh, Yes. yes. I have an idea about the pipe he was laying and it was probably pretty good. Incredible. But then he murdered his girlfriend. So kind of scary. See? So that's a story I've never told anyone. And I just shared Ever? it on the podcast. No, Ever. well, uh, I think I to- I've told Kyle, of course. But I think, um, I mean, Angela and... and uh, Did he tell you how he lost the leg? Huh? Oh, yeah. And well, then he was funny, too. Because I was like, hey, I like, how'd you lose it? Hey, and I noticed he- you only have one leg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, After noticed- the business was done. <laughs> I noticed so, you So, hey, your leg's them. gone. <laughs> and what did he say? And he told, like, a funny short, I- I'll butcher it, but about a shark attack and, like, got me. And I was like... Oh my god! He's like, I'm just fucking with you. I, I, I haven't had it for like, and since I was like, whatever, young. And I was like, Oh, oh that's no funny wonder too. he knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, no, he was confident and funny. But I, when I tell you, it's the most shocked during sex I've ever been in my life. Well, no well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine. And just looking, being in a position, and he turned me in a position, and I'd catch, I'd catch the leg in the <laughs> corner of the room. I could still, if that happened to me, and like it was a girl, even if she was very attractive, if yeah. feeling that. I'd go limp 
in really? three seconds. If she took her leg off? Huh? Yes. You shallow fuck. <laughs> Are you kidding? I think it's all about the motion of the oh, ocean. Oh, that he worked at. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, but let's get to this leg and then I'll fuck you later. But oh, like, like, we need to address it. Address yeah. the leg. Like, I would go limp and go, can we address this before I get to the plowing Can we part? address the leg in the room? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Ethan's yeah. got 20 seconds to put in on you. <laughs> yeah. So let's make, <laughs> let's make this convo a bit longer. Oh, my God. What okay. are Four other play. people's uh, stories? How does it always lead back to sex? Uh, well, right? actually, with you, you're, you're with the only me. person. That's why I had to make that little uh, a thing at the beginning because I'm like, mm, people, which doesn't matter. I don't care what you think, but I kind of do because I said that. If you like saving money, and let's face it, who doesn't? Then you have to get Rakuten. We love Rakuten at my house and the Rakuten app. I mean, seriously, Rakuten shoppers get it all when it comes to shopping: the hottest brands, the best deals, and the most savings, which to me is the best part. With Rakuten, you get cash back at stores you love, which is probably why I bought so many things for myself when I was trying to do birthday shopping for Ocean. Because it's hard not to throw a couple of things in the car for myself at Bloomingdale's. And then with all the money that I saved, I went straight to Fenty Beauty. But you can get cash back at stores like Dyson and Petco. You'll also never miss out on promo codes and coupons because Rakuten gives you all the best ones. You can even stack cash back on top of sales, credit card points, and other loyalty programs. And it couldn't be easier. Just join Rakuten for free, then use the website or the app to shop your favorite stores, and watch your cash back add up. So before you buy another thing, join Rakuten, because Rakuten shoppers always get the most bang for their buck. Get started at Rakuten.com or get the Rakuten app. That's R-A-K-U-T-E-N. If debit is your go-to card, Discover thinks it's time you get rewarded too. So check out Discover Cashback Debit, a game-changing checking account with cash back on everyday debit card purchases. That's right, cash back isn't just for credit cards anymore. Whether it's gas, groceries, or dinner with friends, you can start earning cash back. And did I mention there are no fees, period? Check out transaction eligibility and terms at discover.com slash cashbackdebit. Discover Bank member FDIC. Okay, so this is funny. Getting kicked out of the ocean by security while skinny dipping because there were sharks. So her and her friend, I won't read the names in case these are private, went in skinny dipping and then security came and made them leave. That's funny. Only because of sharks Only because of sharks. It was like, we're glad you're having a good time, but we don't want you to be eaten. That's fun. I don't know. That's pretty nice. You've skinny dipped on TV, right? I've skinny dipped a many time. Oh, a many a time. Yeah. Even during spring break. (laughs) I was going to say, when you showed yours, I was like, I would bring hers up, but we all know. Yeah, Laughlin Lake or the river. Yes. And I remember there were a lot of kids, and me and my friends were topless um, drinking with all these hot guys and stuff. And they had um, police on what are those called? The like wave runners. Okay. They were like, hey, you guys need to put your tops on. There's kids around. So we were like, yeah, fine, whatever. And then he's like floating with us. And then as we pass the little kids, he goes, once you get further down, you're welcome to take them off again. Is that what I, he said? Yeah, he did. I was like, oh, you're Was cool. he hot? I can't remember. Uh, he just I had was, a pair of binoculars I was distance. sleeping with this guy at the time who was hung like a horse. <laughs> that you could have put anyone in front of me and I would have been like, there's no one laying pipe like the guy I'm with right now. So like, really? we're all good here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Girthy and long. Wow. Yeah. See, oh, okay. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> a King Kong cock. A King Kong, if you will. <laughs> Good for him. In a hot tub with a guy and my tampon expanding into a tennis ball size, so we threw it over the fence. On oh, spring break. Oh. Nothing says spring <laughs> break like a tampon Shooting out of your vagina in a hot tub and expanding to tennis ball size. And then flinging it and elsewhere. Then throwing it over <laughs> the fence. You want to know what's the most filthy thing in this world? Hot tubs on spring break. And I will. They, they are filthy. <laughs> they are disgusting. Filthy. You do not go into a hot, a public hot tub during spring break. Especially with this girl. Because yeah. she's just pulling out bloody things. Bloody just- blood semen <clears throat> snot. Blood, semen, snot. Were you in there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I know pee. I know shit. I know that's what it's like a oh, filthy soup. That's cool. <laughs> if you want to go, don't talk to me. It's like if you a, go to a petri dish. A yummy broth. It's disgusting. Disgusting. That girl sounds fun though. Yeah. Um, oh, this is <laughs> Cancun 97. You were living. Cancun 97. You were living spring break 
uh, the highest, highest peak of spring break there ever was. And hella cocaine. Hella cocaine, <laughs> drunk and high, and came in second place in a sexy dance contest. Oh, she was feeling herself. Oh mm. my God. She was, wow. And she's, I will say, I won't read your name, but she's a pilot. You're a bad oh. bitch. She's a pilot she now. She is a bad bitch. Um, Spring break in the 90s, to me, that's the epitome of all spring break. That was like MTV spring break. That was Girls Gone Wild. Oh, that was I remember like, staying up late nights to see Girls Gone, gone wild. wild. Yeah, it was a horny little guy. Oh. Easton. I know. We all did it, John. Yep. See? <laughs> Come on now. Um, being on E! News because Anna Nicole died and I was wasted. <laughs> <laughs> and so what it sounds like is Anna Nicole died and E! News was reporting and she was probably wasted in the background. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> Please send me the footage. <laughs> oh, no. We need, I'm not going to read your name, but we need it. Oh, it's you and your sweet family in the photo. I Please send us the footage <laughs> if you have it. Um... My best friend lost her bottoms while body surfing in the ocean with my dad and siblings. Ha 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 ha. Have you ever lost your bottoms in the ocean? I've lost You've all lost. my clothes yeah. in the ocean. You like, lost, lost your bottoms tubing in Lake Powell. Yeah, I did. I like, did. full on lost. Gone. gone. Oh, yeah. Gone. Vagina and all things gone. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> you, lost, you lost your vagina in the ocean as well. <laughs> her swimsuit took it right with her. <laughs> The funniest story is when mom <laughs> talks about how she was swimming in the ocean in Hawaii with dad and how she was like really feeling herself in her brand new bikini and she just got fucking robbed. <laughs> 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 her top. Gets out and she was like, my bottoms were pulled over at my top. And she goes, and I didn't even care. She just got out and was like, what just happened? And everyone rushed over and dad kept telling her to put her top on. And she was like, fuck, I almost died. Can we you, can we you also picture her mom? So funny. That's the funniest shit ever. <laughs> oh, it's I got funny it. you're knowing this. Dad fell asleep while she was dancing for him too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> we talked about that this weekend. What are you telling tell my, my mom said that she was sexy dancing for my dad and he fell asleep. I and I was like, the questions. All the questions. Were you turned around? Like, for how long? I'm like, did you not see him? Because someone doesn't just sit there like this and they go... <laughs> Like, it's a slow process. <laughs> so was she, like, <laughs> slow dancing and then turned around? And how long were you turned around dancing for? I, even, I asked her that. I go, how long? And she goes, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just feeling I don't know, herself. Couple minutes. <laughs> couple minutes? I, that is the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. Oh, my God. Because, like, either if, <laughs> if Lisa's turned around, she's <laughs> 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 For 30 minutes. It's like, what are you doing? Check on him. Just like, ask out. Do you like what I'm it's doing? Like, just, <laughs> right? And then her turning back around and to him. What was she wearing? Sleep. What no. was she wearing for the day? I don't want wearing? to know that. And what was she dancing but. to? Purple Rain? Uh, Purple Rain. That's like, what literally she, the longest was song it really? ever. That's what I she really know. said. But, but like, oh my God, it takes I'm a minute to fall crying. asleep. It's just, <laughs> it's literally tears in her eyes. Absolutely crying. Oh. I love. Well, because I have a. F I'm sure she wasn't dancing like this. I'm. Sh I think it was like sexy <laughs> dancing. I don't think Lisa has anything sexy about no, her moves. No, I know Lisa's I maybe didn't moves. Know. Lisa's <laughs> stiff as a board, so there's no way that it was like sexy dancing. <laughs> I've. <laughs> I bet it was like this. I uh, love when <laughs> she dances, because she does. With like her Veratu hands. <laughs> Like for your dad, it's like no wonder he fell asleep. <laughs> and he's like, oh, this is great, honey. Like we finally got the speakers to work in uh, the house. We figured it out, and we were listening. What were we listening to? It was so freaking good. It was like an. It was such an old school song. Oh, teach me how to Dougie. Oh, was it came the on. Dancing? She was like doing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Kills it. Oh my god, I'm crying. Okay. Last one. 
She's just shy of Elaine on Seinfeld. Ugh, she's so funny. Just shy. She's the queen of everything. All right, one last one. Okay. Tears all over my face. Um, When I was on the same cruise with the girl who I just punched and broke her nose. What? So this girl must have gotten in a fight. Well, why were you on the cruise, girl? Like, if I got, if I was in a fight and punched and broke someone's nose on spring break, I'm either in jail or going home. How do people get away with this shit? They don't press charges. Well, if I were to punch somebody, I would abs- someone would absolutely press charges. Like, if I don't fall in line and come correct at all times, there's, right. a, there's a hella amount of punishment that is coming my direction. Yes. That's crazy. just how it works for me. You know? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll end on this one because this one's interesting. And I know, I feel like you've been here before, Law. Meeting Justin Bieber and Shaq at Fountain Blue. How do you say that? Fountain? Fountain Blue. Fountain Blue. Fountain Blue? Oh, yeah. you don't say it like in a French way? I guess you could say Blue if you feel like bleu. it. Um, that's fun. Good for you. <laughs> in Miami? Probably. What Have you ever been um to Miami for spring break? No. Oh. I don't think so. I'm sure Miami spring break is wild. Granted, I don't do cocaine, so maybe I wouldn't enjoy Did it. Did you watch Griselda? No. She does crack and <gasps> she loses, smokes crack and snorts it. Loses her mind on Is crack. it Sofia Vergara? Yeah, mm-hmm. and she kills it. She kills the part. They oh. made her look a little hammered, but they Well, they did, did you see the real life Griselda Blanco? Oh. She's rough looking. She is. Well, yeah, but when oh, you're smoking crack, rough. like, what do you expect? Right. By the way, I don't know that Teabag was on crack. In fact, <laughs> I'm almost entirely positive he was not on crack. I think he was just a small person. Yeah. With a lot of with energy. With a lot of energy when he got drunk. Right. And it depends on what he was drinking, you know? Henny. Oh, the henny makes you pop off. Yeah. Henny makes me go nutty. Really? Oh, yeah. What well, is that considered? Scotch? Cognac, I think. No, it's a cognac. cognac. Okay. And the last time I drank Hennessy, I let children draw all over my body and face. That was a Hennessy drunk? You wrote about that in your book. I did. It was the last drink I ever had. Wow. It was a bottle of Hennessy on a private jet. Damn. She gave You're me gonna... one shot, and that then the bottle was gone. I crushed it. She killed it. And you didn't... Go to the hospital? <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. Oh, you would think, you would think I would need to. Wow. But I was rip roaring to go, baby. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thanks for sharing your um, uh. tampon stories with us. <laughs> we really appreciate you guys getting so vulnerable yes. and so open and honest, and we really enjoy your authenticity. Um, I hope you enjoyed another bonus episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Just remember, the audio, which you're listening to now, and the video are out right now. So please go to YouTube and hey. like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, Yay. she did it. Yeah. And, and rate then, and review the podcast. I'm what not, is it? Rate and review? I hear people saying that on their podcast a lot, so maybe we oh, start Oh, rate and okay. review. <laughs> rate and review. And also, don't forget the uh, normal podcast episodes every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcast. Those uh, videos drop on Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. I hope you have uh, the best week. I hope that we started you off just right. (laughs) (laughs) I I love you guys. Catch you later. Bye.